Okay, building off the gift. Okay, the gift is always our number one. And guys, it's it's the exact same route. And, and I mean, and I really don't, you know, a lot of people think this it's secretive and all that stuff. It's always going to be a speed out for us. Always going to be speed out with conversion rules. Okay. And, and, and if you watch enough film on us, it's, I mean, you can find it on film. I'm not worried about it. I, we don't change it. We're not going to change it. Quarterback always knows from day one that that gift is always in the same spot for him. Okay. And we build everything off of the gift. So here is, here is your main RPO right here. Okay. We're actually going to be isolated. Okay. So he changes this. He changes this right here. Okay. This was going to be a gift and he just said, go. So he gave him the go route, although he was going to have conversion rule. He did not want the gift on. They were a press and press bail team. Okay. And we had talked on the sideline that when they press bail, when we actually step on their toes, they actually turn their back to us. And so he just said, Hey, I don't want you to keep it on versus if they press bail this, I want the go route. I want it all the way. If you look at the box fit now, okay, everything's telling you that here's your one-on-one and we got to win and take those one-on-one matchups right there. Okay. He keeps the motion on. Okay. So there's your turn. So this is what we talked about on the sideline. Okay. When we step on their toes past the, past a certain marker, he's going to turn his head. Okay. Back shoulder it right now. So there's the back shoulder gift right there. Okay. And I thought it was a great call by him. Okay. Now he could have left it on. Okay. And, and, and on bail, he would have thrown the gift and you're going to see it here in a minute. Okay. Thrown uh, when he keeps it on. Okay. But again, that's the freedom. Our quarterback has the freedom to change routes, change routes based on coverage. Okay. We did a couple of them. Uh, we're starting to build it in, in the spring. You know, we're only four practices in right now. So we're starting to build it in the spring. We're starting to get it here. Okay. So here's your gift to the field. Okay, you saw this in the base run scheme. Okay, here's your Oki. Here's your Oscar. Here's your 10 to 12 yard speed cut out right there. He's going to take the 10 to 12 yard speed cut out right there. Okay. And all he's doing right here, okay, is is he's he's looking at space. Okay. And you're never going to hear me say the one thing I won't tell the quarterback. Okay. I'm never going to tell the quarterback you should throw the ball there. Do I think he bypassed the easier throw for the more difficult throw? Absolutely. But he's the one in control of the game. Okay. As much as we like to think as coaches, when that, when that ball is kicked off, we are not in control of the game anymore. Okay. Our players are playing and they're the ones who are in control. And that, that comes back to the initial statement, the day one teaching point number one in our quarterback meet him, meeting freedom within framework. Okay. I trust our quarterback because of the framework that they're coached under and how they practice and the amount of throws that they make during the course of the week, that whatever decision he makes in this moment, okay. Cause this is, this is, this is a boundary glance. Okay. Field side gift run split zone. Okay. Whatever decision he makes. Cause if you look right here, okay. You actually have boundary fit. Okay. Coming from there. Okay, and then you have space in the gift side right there. Okay, and I trust our quarterback that to give him the freedom within the framework that we're working, that he's going to make the best decision and the best throw in the moment, and that's exactly what he does right there.